Yo, what's up, what's up? It's 2K James. Once again, giving you back the knowledge of 2K and 21, my team. I'm just trying to let you know. I'm trying to give you the best information that I can. This is my personal top 10 cards in 2K and 21. Check it out. This guy right here, Chrisat Porzingis. This boy, he could ball. He could play defense. He could rebound. This, yo, top 10. I thought Dirk Nowinski was going to be a better card, but this card is still better by far. He could um, pick and pop for threes. He got speed. He got IQ. His mid-range is money. His three-point is money. His post-defense is money. This card is a must-have, and it's definitely top 10 in 2K21. The Black Mama herself, Kobe Bryant. This card is not outdated yet. It's still good. You might have to badge him up a little bit, give him a three-point sneaker, and work on his three-point in practice, learn his release. This card is still good. This card could shoot threes, shoot middies, dunk on your head, and one. Also play defense. On ball and off ball still is magnificent. This card is still legit. It's 99, you can get it probably for lower than that. 80,000, this card is top nine. You gotta get this card in your lineup. Manu Ginobili, yo, he has every badge in the world. If you, look how much badges I got on this man. I got 20 gold badges and five Hall of Fame. And it could keep going. You could badge this card up. If I'm not mistaken, you could put every badge on this man right here. He's top eight, but this if you badge him up, he could be top five. But it's so much good cards right now. But Mondo Ginobili is definitely the top eight card. You got to have in your lineup. You got to grind for some MT. You got to purchase this card. This card is a great card to have off the bench, giving your opponent buckets. Simple and plain. No other than Derrick Rose. The rim running machine. Boy, 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 this card gives me problems. When I had him, I was giving everybody the business. But since I um sold him and you know I got John Stockton, he still gives me problems. This dude dunks on everybody and his mother, bro. And one, you could meet him at the um rim and he would dunk on your head. This card is still relevant. You can still have him in your lineup and cook. Larry Bird from the Ark. Larry Bird, still a good card. He could shoot. He's still relevant. I think he's good for the comp players because he could knock down big buckets and big moments. This card is not played out yet. It's not out of date. You must have this card in your lineup if you're trying to win. Poor. George, a lot of people hate this card. I don't know why. You can run this card at the power forward position. If you badge him up, you can get the post lockdown move gold badge, and nobody can do nothing. This card could shoot, play defense, take it to the hole. This card is top five, dead or alive. My team card, you must have this card. This card could do it all. KD, another car, he's a sniper. He can shoot from deep. He could pull up from 30. This card is a must have. He's not very good in the low post defense, but he could play perimeter defense if you give him some good badges. It's all about the badges. You give your car good badges and you will eat. This card is amazing. Every time he's open, I knock it down. He's always open at the corner run him at the small four position he will always be open at the corner he steals and he blocks shots this card is a must have top four kd dominique wilkins dog this card is off the roof my g this card could do it all from rim running Six seven. He's a six seven Derek Rose that could play D, that could shoot. If you learn his release, 
It is automatic. His release is so quick and so money. This is a card, top three card in my team right now, bro. This card, yo. I was playing a comp player, and this card held me down. This card is too great. This card could be top one for me personally, but I'm just being honest. This is not, you know, I'm just nice at the game. That's probably why. But this card is amazing, bro. This card is a must-have. If you don't have them, grind your MT and pick up this card at the auction house. Dominic Wilkins, boy. You already know who is top two. John Stockton. What can I say about this card? The only thing the card can't do is get rebounds and play post defense. This card could do everything your mother could do, bro. This card is great. This card is awesome. This card is amazing. This card could be top one for a lot of people, but I put them top two, you know. But this card, John Stockton, can shoot threes. He got an easy release and he could dunk on your head. I don't think he's a better rim runner than Derrick Rose. Because, like, if you meet him at the rim, his animation would change and he would do a layup. Maybe miss it or maybe he makes it. But this card is definitely top two. John Stockton. I know everybody on my team got him. This card is a must-have. You have to have this card in your lineup. Paul Pierce. This card is too nice. The only thing about this card that you can't shoot from the sidelines because he steps on the side and it will never be a three. But but besides that, this car could shoot from deep. I feel like it got Hall of Fame's range extender. This car, I've been pulling up this car from deep, greening, or water. He could play defense. He's there just to hold you down. Like, if John Stockton ain't doing good, if your other cars ain't doing good, Paul Pierce will do it for you. This is my top 10. Your top 10 might be different. I don't have Stephen Curry. I know he's like the best card. I never played with him, so I can't say that. I never played with him. That I'm not going to be a fake YouTuber and tell you who's top one. Stephen Curry's the best card, but I don't have him. I don't have Stephen Curry. But there are some honorable mentions that could also be, that could, you could fluctuate in the top five. Kyrie Irving, honorable mention. This card, this card, oh my gosh. Everybody like Dan Williams. For me, I don't like too much people that can rim run. I like two. Like, on my squad, I got Dominique Wilkins and I got John Stockton to rim run. They could be my rim runner. He could play D, yeah, but this car could play D also. I like a car that's finesse, that could just slither through the hole and one with layups. And the dribble moves is way better. Like, Kyrie Irving move is better than Darren Williamson. And he could slither through the hole and one in. And he got a better release, in my opinion. Kyrie Irving is an honorable mention. He has to be in your squad. If you don't have him, pick him up. Dan Williams. Everybody love this card. They said this is the second best card to Curry. I don't know. I never played with Curry. But I'm telling you, he's good. But Kyrie Irving is better. I don't need three rim runners. I like another type of player. Like Kyrie Irving, he can swim it through. And one. And he got a better release. And he's quick off the release, off the dribble. Draymond Green, bro. I don't know how I forgot him. Draymond Green could do everything. He could, he's a car that could do everything. He could shoot threes. You, you could badge him up. Go range extender. This is another card that you got to try to lock in. This card is amazing. I mean, that's the reason why I don't got him on the top 10 because it's a lot to get him. You got to um, lock a lot of cards to get him, but this card is amazing. Another card, too, I got to put in honorable mention is Latrell Sprewell. <sighs> This is another card. He plays defense. He, he could dunk the ball. He has an easy release. This is another card that you must have. I just had to just put these in my honorable mentions also. These cards are great. There's a lot of great cards in 2K, and I can't forget these players. But I'm out again, 2K James. Later.